YouTube. I'm back. Now, nah, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn banger. Yes, 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 you are looking at it correctly. You are seeing your boy back in front of the camera with a cigar in his hand. We're gonna smoke this, tell you about it. Hey, I'm excited to tell y'all we're gonna be smoking the Cavalier Geneve B2 Viso Jalapa. That's a lot to say. Y'all hang tight, stay tuned. All right, you guys, we are back. We are back. We are back. Today, we're going to be smoking a special cigar that if you are a part of Black Line Luxury Cigar of the Month Club, you will know exactly what this cigar is. This was featured in January Cigar of the Month grouping. Today, we're going to be smoking the Cavalier Geneve B2 Viso Jalapa. Excellent, excellent, excellent cigar. 6x54 is the body. Got a box press cigar here. It is a Nicaraguan Puro with a Habano leaf in the filler and the binder. Really looking forward to smoking this. Of course, smoked this many a times to validate and co-sign the cigar being in the Cigar of the Month Club. Cavalier is another brand that's just knocking a lot of cigars out of the park. A lot of good offerings. They had, of course, the White Series, which we featured before, which is a phenomenal cigar. Also, a cigar we didn't get a chance to use, which I know me and James both would have wanted to use, but just the quantities were so few and so far between. But the limited edition series that they had last year was another great cigar. So this cigar retails for $9, which again is another thing that I like about Cavalier cigars for the most part is their price point is very aggressive and competitive, comparatively speaking to a lot of other brands as well too. So with that being said, we're going to cut this thing up. Grab me a lighter real quick. I don't have my straight cutter today, so unfortunately I have to use a V cutter. But as you guys know, I, I'm not a very big V cut fan. Mm. I think I left this one out a little bit too long. It's dried up a little bit, but still make it work. As most of you guys know, I could have did it. I could have did it here, but of course you guys know I like to smoke my cigars at a cooler temperature anyway, or cooler humidity as well. Sometimes if you feel like the cigar is a little hard, you can kind of put it in your mouth, pause, and dampen it a little bit to kind of soften it up before you cut it. Now, of course I wouldn't suggest doing that with the house cutter in the lounge, or if somebody's giving you a cutter to borrow. This is only if this is your stuff naturally, but I feel like sometimes I got to say some stuff because there's some weird people out there that do some weird stuff, but don't lick on your cigars and put it on somebody else's cutter or the house cutter. This is only if it's your stuff. Otherwise, you kind of got to bite the bullet. So right now, let's see what we're getting. Very good smoke output. Getting a nice creamy coffee note on it, a nice wood, nice black pepper in there. Very good start. Very reminiscent of a lot of Cavaliers I've had too. They do a very, Sebastian and them do a very good job over there blending the cigars. And I think this is a company that's finally gaining some traction, finally getting some notoriety. Some people are finally starting to pay attention to it and Cavaliers starting to grow, which is kind of weird because as you guys see the gold foil diamond here, which is on all of his cigars, I think at first, especially kind of with my background, when I saw it, it looked like a kind of a gimmicky cigar and didn't really understand it, but then I smoked them and realized the tobacco is phenomenal here. And the gold diamond is you can smoke through it as well too. Now, some of the models, the diamond is down further. On these, it's up higher. I won't be able, I won't smoke through the whole diamond just cause it's already so far up, but I'll smoke through some of it to show you guys what it looks like once you smoke through it. But with that being said, I'll come back when I get through this first third, give you guys some flavor notes and some things like that. We're gonna change some stuff up too. I won't be rating cigars because I won't be putting out as many reviews as I was doing at first. Of course, time and things like that, got some other stuff working on. But what I'll do at the end of videos is I'll give you my recommendation. If I think it's a great cigar, good cigar, and then I'll kind of go in detail whether I think it's you know worth a five pack, whether it's worth you uh, going to the B&M and grabbing one or whether I think it might be a box purchase or if it's something I think you need to stay away from. So with that being said, we'll be back at the end of the first third and I'll give you guys an update so y'all hang tight. All right, so we're working our way through this first third. 
Still a very enjoyable experience so far. You're still getting a nice creamy note, a nice base, a nice creamy coffee is what it more so, more so or less tastes like to me. There's a, a very nice oak wood present. There's a nice black pepper in there as well too. Burn line on this hasn't been razor sharp, but I've been taking my time and it's kind of caught up. The first time it caught up, it looks like on this one, I'm gonna probably have to touch it up. It doesn't look like it'll, it wants to keep lit on this one side. So far for me, I would say the body, the body and flavor are resting around a good medium, medium full, and the strength is probably about a medium. So this isn't a very strong cigar, but it has a, has a very nice body and flavor to it. So this will be a cigar to keep in mind for people that aren't really into strong cigars, but still like full, a full flavored experience, a nice mouth, food, uh, mouth feel, mouth coating with the smoke is nice and dense and creamy. This is still really enjoyable. I've smoked enough of these. I'll keep smoking to, got, to let you guys know of any changes or anything like that. But just letting you guys know early on, like for me, especially at the price point of $9 a cigar, in my humble opinion, I think this, this is a box worthy cigar as I feel like the white series and the limited edition are as well too. There are some other cigars that Cavalier does that are good for me, but these there are these three that I just mentioned and there's one or two others that I feel like are box worthy cigars, but nonetheless, this is very, very enjoyable. Price point is very good. To me, especially where cigars are going, where we're constantly reading articles and hearing about the price increase slowly going up with all vendors or all companies, at $9, I think that this is a very good price point to be considered a daily driver or something that could be smoked every day. Now, I, uh, and many of you know that I used to smoke a lot more cigars before, uh, you know, family grew and just time hasn't been as free as it, as, uh, as it once was. Sorry about that. So now maybe where I used to smoke four to six a day, now it's more along the lines of one or two a day. And for me, at one or two a day, I think a $9 cigar, in my opinion, is something that I could smoke every day. Now, there are some good cigars that are sub $9, and there are some good cigars that are above $9 that I feel like are daily drivers too. But your mileage may vary. What you're comfortable with spending for a daily smoker is up to you. To me, $9 is a very good price point. Flavor profile is very good. It's not gonna be anything crazy. You know, sometimes you'll smoke cigars and there's constant shifts and constant changes. This is a complex cigar, meaning for me that there are enough flavors to keep you interested, but there's not a lot of huge transition spikes or anything like that. But all in all, still a very enjoyable cigar. Just did a little relight touch up on it. So a little bit of a flaky ash, but again, nothing I'm a nitpick about. So I'll keep on smoking. I'll come back, let you know of any changes or anything like that. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned. All right, so we're working our way through this Cavalier. It's still a very enjoyable cigar. It's starting to get a little warm, so I won't be able to make it all the way through the gold, but just take my word for it. If you, if you see these cigars, especially if the gold diamond is down further, you could just smoke right through them. It'll just turn into like a gray color, like a gray ash color. But <clears throat> the creaminess is still there, but it's falling off kind of at a substantial amount. It's still there in the very background. You're still getting a lot of oak wood. Started picking up a little bit of a nuttiness kind of flavor to it, almost like a cashew kind of nut. Um, there's an earth there. There's still a little bit of hay present. It's kind of, it's kind of geared itself more towards like a traditional tasting cigar, which for me isn't bad. I like traditional tasting cigars, but very enjoyable. I still would say the strength is probably a textbook medium and the body's resting at a good medium, medium full right now for me. Still really enjoyable. Again, like I mentioned earlier, this for me is a box purchase cigar, especially at the $9 price point. This is one that if it was like 14 or $15, I would say, Definitely give it a try or give a five pack maybe, but being at such a great price point, I think that this is worth a box. Now, of course, you guys know where you can find this cigar at. You can go to uh, blacklineluxuries.com and you're able to, to look at the whole Cavalier catalog. So not only just this cigar, but you'll be able to look at the other cigar offerings that Black Line offers. Again, if you were a member of the club, you got this cigar in January and hopefully you enjoyed this cigar as much as I did. If you haven't thought about or if you haven't joined and you're thinking about joining the Cigar of the Month Club, definitely give Black Line Luxuries a look. We do four cigars typically a month for around $38 ship. Some months you'll get five cigars. Some months you might get lighters, cutters, stickers. We did socks for Christmas. We always do kind of like kind of quirky things just to kind of keep things refreshed and keep things interesting. So that's pretty much it for this review. Thank you guys for tuning in. This was the Cavalier Geneve B2. Viso Jalapa. Like I said, that's a really long title, but I'm surprised I'm able to remember it. Very enjoyable cigar. On that note, y'all know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. We'll catch you on the next one.